Hello and welcome to beautiful Valkenswaard. Welcome to Le Peba, the Netherlands. This is the second round of the Global Champions League here in Valkenswaard at the beautiful Tops International Arena, the spiritual home of the Global Champions League. The stage is the 12th out of 15 on the 2022 season. They're at home now, the home team Valkenswaard United. They come in with a score of 12. Edwina tops Alexander on fellow Castle Field. Fellow Castle Field, but leaves it all standing and the time is good. And Edwina tops Alexander gets a clear to keep the team on a score of 12. And here's the man who jumped a great clear yesterday. It's John Whittaker with Equine America Unique de Franport. And there is a double clear indeed, it is John Whittaker. Throws Valka Swart United the lifeline in the championship race. And United can now sit back and wait and see what happens with those other teams, especially with Shanghai Swans. Christian Alman is on his black stallion on Dominator 2007. Alman, clear on Dominator. Very sharp there at the blank, leaves that standing. Great clear from Dominator and Cristiano. Now, Sanotelli. Here come the tulips and Marlon Modolo and Sanotelli is home on double clear himself. Double clear in round two. The team on eight overtake Valke Swart United. This is an important moment. The Berlin Eagles powered by Fudis Rajport. There comes Beerbaum. What a strong ride. It is unbelievable. He does it again now with uh, this Mila. She is so, so, so consistent. Let's have a look now at Philip Weissart because he has to back it up. Here comes Weissart for a very important double clear. He has got that double clear. It is also the fastest combined time of all teams so far. Another team that mixes and mingles with those points being given away for the championship is Rome Gladiators. Shane Green, Visto Grant. Very strong ride from Shane Green. Opens up for the plank, comes quite off the hind leg. But careful enough there, the jumping of Visto Grant. What a good, good round here. Good weekend from Shane Green. Clear on Quick Star Kervec. Now clear on uh, Visto Grant. Malvin from Cartier to Craig la Rousserie. There comes Malvet, there's a plank, leaves it standing, it's good! Nina Malvet is... Oh no! They are slower than the Berlin Eagles. It is not guaranteed just yet, they are slower than the Berlin Eagles. They are six seconds slower, the, slower. the Eagles take the lead here. The lead is no longer in the hands of Stockholm Hearts, powered by H&M. Berlin Eagles lead on four. If a rail falls, they become the new championship leaders. It's all going well for Marlin on that superstar horse. She's not letting the team down with just one fence left to jump. She gets a little bit strongish to the plank, leaves it standing. No, no, ooh, and fast as well. Look at that, 69 seconds sharp. Philip Weishaupt posted a time of 66.82 run from Marlin Bayo Johnson. Lily Atwood has to finish 71.2 to stay ahead of the Eagles. Atwood has to go clear. Atwood with a difficult stage in London. 138.24 is to beat. She is not going to make it or is she? 138.42. That's what's going to come down to. She adds for the last and she's slower. She is slower and that means that they go to second place. Stockholm Hearts powered by H&M by just fractions of seconds. What is it? I think it is less than three tenths of a second. The difference between the Berlin Eagles and the Stockholm Hearts. Is this going to decide on the championship? But let's now focus on those Paris Panthers with Nail Nassar and El Conde. Whoa! And he's on the back rail. He is on the back rail, and so it's a win for the Berlin Eagles. It's a second place for the Stockholm Hearts, and the wrong gladiators make it to third place. It's their third podium finish, and a great move on for them on the championship table. 
but what is more important is that the lead of Stockholm Hearts on the championship will be reduced to just two points with three stages left to go after that fault of Nal Nassar with El Conde. Out of the double of doubles and over to Van Gogh, miscommunication, it didn't fit. Dara Kelly now with Fidel Cartello. They're not going to make a mistake. Here's the final fence. There's the tulip. And Cartello and Kenny go clean and clear. And with that, they keep the team all in fifth place. They are based on time, too slow to get ahead of Shanghai Swans. And they lose a position on the Shanghai Swans. That means that the Swans will remain third. And where are the Panthers going to land? It might even be fifth for Paris Panthers. What a uh, outcome of this stage here in Valkenswaard. There they come, the final result and the confirmation that the top three teams all finish on a score of four and are separated by time. Yeah, uh, amazing. Uh, we were, we know this week we have to put a little bit more pressure on, we have to look for the time a little bit more and actually it worked out perfect. Lutke gave a little bit of gas already and I know that Kobe is a very fast horse and uh, I started a bit slow in the beginning, didn't really try uh, full speed, the first six, seven jumps, and then I had such a good feeling, I said, okay, now come on, let's go. And so I had the fastest time of them all, and uh, yeah, it was a good feeling to secure the team and uh, another win uh, after London last week, this week again, uh, it feels very good. Eagles win once again. With these images of the victory gallop, we close the line here in Valkenswaard. They're from all of us. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.